In this lecture, we're going to look at an example that deals with concave or diverging lenses. A concave lens with a focal length of 50 centimeters creates a virtual image 40 centimeters from a lens of some object. So for this to actually be true, where exactly must we place the object from the lens and what is the magnification of the lens? So in part A, we want to solve for the object distance and in part B, we want to find the lateral magnification of our lens. So let's begin with the following diagram. So we have our diverging lens, also known as a concave lens. We place our virtual image a distance of 40 centimeters to the left of our lens as shown in the following diagram. So this I represents our image. Now, our focal length of the lens is 50 centimeters. So this dot F represents our focal point. So we essentially want to find the object distance and then the magnification. So let's begin with A. So in A, we want to apply the thin lens equation, which states that one divided by the focal length is equal to one divided by the image distance plus one divided by the object distance. So we're looking for this quantity. So let's bring what we know to the left side and let's leave what we don't know on the right side. So 1 divided by the focal length minus 1 divided by the image distance is equal to 1 divided by the object distance. Now what exactly is the focal length? Now because we're dealing with a concave or diverging lens, the focal length is automatically negative. So the focal length is negative 50 centimeters. And this is because we're dealing with a diverging lens. Remember, a converging lens or a convex lens has a positive focal length. Now, what exactly is our image distance? Now we know the image is found on the same side as the object because it's a virtual image. So because we're dealing with a virtual image, because the image is found on the same side as where our light is actually coming from, that means our image distance is also negative. So it's negative 40 centimeters. So we have one 1 divided by negative 50 centimeters uh, minus negative, so this becomes a positive. So positive 1 divided by 40 centimeters, that gives us 0 0.005 centimeters to the negative 1. And this is equal to 1 divided by DO. So the object distance is equal to 200 centimeters. And the positive means it's found on the same side as our image. So the object is found 200 centimeters to the left of our concave lens. Now let's move on to part B. So our magnification is equal to negative of the image distance divided by our object distance. Now the image distance is given to be negative 40 centimeters. So negative negative becomes a positive 40 centimeters divided by the object distance found in part A of 200 centimeters. So we have 4 divided by 20 and that gives us positive 0 0.2. So the fact that it's positive simply means that it is upright and the fact that it's less than 1 simply means that our image is actually smaller in size compared to our object. In fact, the object's height is 5 times as great as the image height. 